Hi, this tutorial is going to go through probability. Uh, probability is something that's recently been added to the City and Guilds exam and most of the time you'll find it in the third section of the exam uh, which covers generally data representation and um, graphs and bar charts and that kind of thing. Uh, basically what probability is, and there's a short definition on the screen here, is the likelihood of something happening. Uh, probability can be expressed as a fraction, a decimal or, or a percentage. Um, for example, the likelihood of rolling a six on a dice would be one in six. What this is here across the screen is a probability scale. And what that is, is basically um, you start here from zero and that's the chance of something happening being impossible and as you move further up the scale the likelihood of something occurring increases so about a quarter of the way up you get to 0.25 which can also be written as 25 percent halfway is obviously 50 percent or 0.5 uh, three quarters of the way is 0.75 and 75% and then at the end of the scale you have a certainty which is either 100%, 1.0 or just simply written as 1. Now a probability scale is usually given to you in the exam as just a line and they ask you to plot a likelihood of something happening once you've worked that out. So I'm just going to go through with you what that means. So to use the example of the dice, which obviously is a six sided dice. So you've got a one in chance, sorry, a one in six chance of something occurring um, in terms of rolling a particular number on that dice. Now, the best way to write that out initially is as a fraction. So you can do one over six as a fraction like that. Um, if you then want to convert that into a decimal, you can divide the top number, which is the 1, by the 6. And I can do that on the calculator here. So it's 1 divided by 6. And you can see you get 0.1 and a lot of sixes there. Um, usually you can just round that off to two decimal places. So uh, you can get 0.16 and as that's written there. Um, to get that number then as a percentage, you can then times the decimal by 100. And that will give you that as a percentage. So if you go back to my calculator and times that by 100. You can see it's around about 16%. Now, however you use that information, um, whether you need it as a fraction, a decimal, or as a percentage, depends on how you're drawing your probability scale. So usually they'll leave this blank and they'll either say to you, um, input 0 to 100 or you can do 0 to 1. Now if you're doing percentages it's easier to use 0 to 100. So 16% is going to be in between 0 and 25% somewhere around here. Um, if you're using a decimal which is 0 0.16 again it's going to be in the same place so the, the place doesn't change but the way that you write the actual probability changes. So 0 0.16, 16% or um, 1 over 6 as a fraction. It's all going to be in the same place, but it's just the way that it's written is different. This is how it looks on the actual exam. So like I said, they will get you to kind of put input these numbers. So this can be 0 to 100 or it can be 0 to 1 and that is where I've scaled around 16% and then you can see that that's the 25% mark, 
50% mark and the 75% mark. I hope that helps in trying to answer some questions about probability.